Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Lord Wise, and welcome to From the Depths version 2.7. We are finally back in the stable branch of From the Depths. I'm so happy, I'm so excited. And you might be noticing, hopefully, that this video is quite a bit shorter than uh, some of the previous update videos I've done. That is because basically everything that's new in the stable update has uh, been in dev test for some time, just as the devs uh, work out all the tweaks. So this is going to be kind of a very, very quick, as quick as I can, goodness knows I'm not good at quick, uh, a very quick summary of what it is. So it's basically a strategic AI, uh, new kinds of structural blocks, uh, there's new functions, and new cram cannons, or rather different cram cannons. So we'll demonstrate some of that right here. Actually, no, we'll go straight back to the main menu and uh, we'll quickly show you uh, what the campaign looks like now. For those of you who have not seen uh, my strategic uh, campaign uh, dev test update. And uh, lovely uh, stuff. So you'll get this if you were already playing the new uh, campaign in dev test. Uh, you will get this, uh, 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 what would you call it, the error message. Don't worry, it still works, so acknowledge. And if you go out here, here is the str new strategic AI. The AI doing stuff, they're moving around, they're tactical, they're doing all the stuff. This is uh, where I was at last uh, with my last uh, campaign stream, so I will be continuing those. Uh, this time in the stable branch, because uh, that works. But nicely, you can see here, there and everywhere, they're all very, very busy uh, doing stuff. So you see the Scarlet Dawn is uh, uh, not having a great time here. They're, st they're kind of holding the fort over there. Great Talons are still spamming uh, ICBMs and uh, all kinds of stuff. And trying to check the Scarlet Dawn. The Lightning Hoods are just building up, building up because uh, they're not actually fighting with anyone right now. Uh, which is a which is a problem uh, for me anyway. And uh, the white flayers are just being hyper aggressive against the steel striders. The onyx watch are not really doing much at the moment, and uh, the twin guard also not doing much at the moment. So, so yeah, like uh, the white, like basically the steel striders and uh, all that stuff. They they the busy really busy ones are uh, here. The border between the white flayers and the steel striders, and the border between. Uh, the Scarlet Dawn and uh, the Steel Striders as well, and the board is here. So th this is kind of the hot spot uh, right now. That's where a lot of the fighting is happening. So yeah, now that uh, we know that, now that we uh, know that the friggin' uh, strategic uh, campaign is working, it's in Stable Branch, uh, if you... Um, well, it's a little bit late for saying this, but if you have uh, old campaign states, they will not work in this, so... Uh, uh, best to back them up or and like uh, revert to an older version of the game just so you can finish them or you can just start over again because uh, the new campaign uh, moves a lot faster than the old one because it's less grindy so I would recommend starting over just because the strategic AI is very fun but you can uh, kind of revert to an older version uh, if you so choose so what else is new well there are new blocks as uh, has been covered in uh, all the uh, the three main videos where I cover everything that's in 2.6, uh, which is like uh, dev test 2.6 is what all these changes are, and 2.7 is the stable version. So everything that was in 2.6 is now in 2.7 because it was being tested in 2.6 and now it's stable in 2.7. I hope that makes sense. So there's new stuff. There are the square corners, and uh, so now we can finally make pyramids, which is very very nice. Doop doop. Doop, doop, there we go. And just because I feel like it, I am going to make a heavy armor pyramid right here. A smaller one, like so. So that's very nice. It means if you have something like this, so we go here, boop, 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 do, do, do. and say you don't, uh, say you want a straight line there, so we go here, do, do. Uh, you can't actually put a triangle corner here, because that's funny, you'll need to put an inverted triangle corner here, but say you don't want to do that, you can do this. And that's super cool. Anyway, that's not the only new block, there are now transition blocks. Lots of them. So you can max slopes to slopes, 
Once again, the video where I discuss that will be in the description below. Uh, be sure to go watch that if you haven't already. And so it's fun things, like here we have a 2 meter slope that can go to a 1 meter slope uh, like that. There's a 1 meter slope on the side and it allows you to do slope staggering, which is super, super nice. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and now we can go here and offset left we can do this and we can do that 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 and we have a very nice smooth gradient let's see here let's just complete this right now do, 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 do. look at that that is a beautiful little slope beautiful slopes no more uh, staggered and jagged slopes We've got genuine slopes. Good slopes. Actually, do I have a prefab, I think? I think I did save. Hull pieces? Yep, uh, here it is. So this is uh, the thing I made, just trying out these slopes. And it's really good, and I have not used this thing yet, because I keep forgetting that sexy slopes are now viable. I keep making unsexy slopes instead. Uh, don't be like me. Remember your sexy slopes, because they are sexy. So. There's that, and there's also new functions, so uh, the Control z update uh, was added to the game some time ago, so I can do that. But now, there's also fun stuff uh, involving... well, let's do this for a start. Let's go here, let's go here, wireless receiver, and... Uh, I can... how does this work again? Do, 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 do. I've forgotten how this is, so... There we go. I can hit Shift-Delete to delete all attached stuff, so... Let's do that instead, and let's, for instance, just... Plonk an engine down. Tiny little engine. Uh, say I just plonked this engine, and I want to redo, say, the exhaust pipes. I can just go Shift-Delete, get rid of all the exhaust, or I can decide, you know what? I want to use the exhaust for decoration, for instance, and I want to get rid of the engine. Shift, delete, beautiful, beautiful. And say I want to get rid of the whole thing, but I don't feel like clicking uh, the three clicks that would be necessary. The prefab now has a function to erase all blocks inside the bounding box. So once again, I've covered this in a previous video. Be sure to do that. These, these are the big things, basically. Strategic AI, uh, the new crams, uh, new blocks, new functions. I haven't covered the crams yet, so... Crams work completely differently, so if we get something like one a simple one, I want to, let's get Bertha in. Bertha's fun. So this is an old prefab, so it's possibly not going to work that well anymore. What's her reload? 28 seconds. Uh, ammo is not compulsory anymore. And yep, uh, yeah, no, she has been updated. She's a... Uh, no ammo is needed, it's payload compactors now, uh, you only need them if you want to increase the amount of packing you can jam in. Autoloaders are now called packers, uh, all uh, cram pellets are now way more viable, EMP is more viable because, uh, without going into detail, the uh, mechanics of it works the same way for cram now as it does for uh, missiles and APS, it can jump if it uh, doesn't uh, connect with a block properly. And uh, frag is now much uh, stronger, and it, it again, it also uses the same mechanic used in APS and missiles, so it's a lot better. Uh, cram is generally way more expensive, but also much more durable. The gauge increases, the barrels, and all that stuff, all the little bits and pieces here, there and everywhere, they're much tougher. Uh, HE pellets don't chain react anymore, so uh, that's also much tougher. And certain bits and pieces uh, here, the laser target is vulnerable to EMP, it's just uh, little bits and bobs. But basically you still build crams much the same way, it's just, uh, it's just they're kind of more logical now. So, if, actually I find them easier to build now, you can get away with a lot of stuff that you couldn't before. And uh, Bertha here, is, uh, is she stuck? Is she stuck? She's stuck. She's not actually on a turret. That's annoying. <laughs> Let's do, let's have our handy, whoops, wrong button. Let's actually do this. Where is it? Sub objects. There they are. One access to it. There 
There we go. We have Bertha. <laughs> we have given Bertha. So, you see there it's packing, 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 packing. It's going to actually uh, have a decently large boom once it's finished. But yeah, crams still function much the same way they always have. Do that, thank you. Oh dear. Oh dear. I messed that up. Oh well. Can still make a mess of the Marauder. It wouldn't be an update video if uh, we didn't splooge a Marauder. Oh yeah, mo very important thing. Uh, all crams. Muzzle velocity is now 200 meters per second unless you stick either recoil barrels or flash suppressors on them. So that's important to note. And bang and bang. There we go. Still works, same as ever, and once again, the video uh, link for that will be down uh, in the description, and that's basically it for this short summary. You know what you need to do, you need to go into stable and play all this, if you so desire, and if you, if you do not so desire, then I don't know what to tell you. Uh, have a nice day. Basically, that's it. So. Uh, I'm happy for this update. It's uh, I've been hanging out in dev test a really long time. It's nice to be back in stable where I can be reasonably sure that uh, annoying bugs won't happen. Uh, just the usual non-annoying bugs, so to speak. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon if you like. It really helps. Thank you to all my current Patreon Patreon supporters. Nearly said subscribers. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell!